doing today? Hello. How are you, sir? Good. Yeah, welcome to Mr. Betty, guys. Have you been here before? Yes. Well, welcome back. Uh, mapping a visitor guide. Are yes, please. Any questions I can help answer for you? Perfect. I don't think so. All right, you guys have a wonderful day. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Day, Appreciate day. it. Here we go. Time of year to okay. how many tickets you purchase. Yep. Okay. Because you have no reception. Yeah. We have no reception. Uh, I feel like Mesa Verde and Cliff Palace is one of the most beautiful and special places in the world. It wasn't until 550 CE, so Common Era, which we're in now, that people started to settle year round <laughs> in what is now Mesa Verde National Park. People were able to settle here because there was a new technology that enabled them to start building homes, building communities, and not have to go out searching for food all the time. They were able to stay in one place. Any idea what that technology was? <laughs> Agriculture. Agriculture, exactly. Farming. Corn was the big crop. It's a really important crop for the ancestral Pueblo people that lived here and Pueblo people of today in the Southwest. They were here for about over 500 years before moving down into the cliff dwellings in large numbers. They were living on top of the mesas and farming up here. Then, around the 1200, uh, going 1200, that, that era, they moved down into the cliff dwellings in mass numbers. They're still farming on the mesa tops, but they're living in the cliffs. Hello. Uh, I have two for us. Thank you. All right. Thank you.
Cliff Palace is the largest cliff dwelling here in Mesa Verde. There are 150 rooms, 21 kivas, about 100 people live here. So if you can imagine being here in the mid 1200s when there are 100 people here with dried corn on top and then in your hands a smaller stone mono and then you're going to hear that ringing of the stone and that grinding of the corn. And Yeah, the kivas, because, you know, they're a big part of Pueblo culture, but also a big deal for the Cliff Palace. There's 21 of them, so obviously a big part of the architecture. And usually every family would have a kiva. It's really worth noting and imagining that they had a big heavy wooden roof on top. So almost like a giant basket. I know this picture is a little hard to see, but it rested on the columns that you can see inside of the kivas. Um, and then with that okay. basket on top, slightly domed, but you'd fill it in with adobe on top of that. And at that point, from up here, it would look like a uh, a floor or a patio is that they're ventilated. So if you like to not have smoke in your eyes and your throat, and no one likes it, and then um, you would be happy in here. Have you noticed? Have you noticed the chimney yet? Yeah.